so once again welcome and good morning to one and all we are discussing about the environmental impact assessment and in continuation with this video lecture series today we are going to discuss about the water quality impact assessment as we all know that water plays a very important role in the maintenance of our life system so we need to take care of the quality of this water and let me tell you that not only due to industries and the factories which are running over the various locations but also the construction activity is equally responsible for declining the quality of the water so in that context today we are going to have some discussions in fact very important discussions that what are the various water quality parameters that should be maintained while we are doing any sort of development because the sustainable development is very very important and sustainable development means that we are doing development but simultaneously we are taking care of the environment we are not declining our ecosystem but simultaneously we are moving further in our life in maintenance of the development of the system so in this water quality parameters let me tell you that first thing which we need to take care is the ph value means the ph system is actually defined as Uh, the system in which we are finding out whether the content available with us is acidic or basic so if we talk about the water quality objectives then the range should be 6.5 to 8.5 means on 7 uh, ph value the water is actually neutral it does not uh, it cannot be called as acidic or basic so 6.5 is somewhat uh, in terms of the acidic content and 8.5 is basically talking about the basic nature of the water so this is the range and due to any water uh, uh, and due to any sample of the water if the waste has been discharged then that this value should not exceed 0.2 on both sides salinity means the salt contents which are present in the water so any changes in the waste discharge in the water body should not affect more than 10% of the natural level of the salinity means the salt content should not increase or decrease by 10% due to any waste discharge in the water body next important parameter is temperature the temperature range which we normally uh, talk about in india should not be affected by uh, any in any case it should not be more than 2% the changes in the temperature should not exceed while if we are discharging any waste water or we are providing any sort of discharge in the form of waste suspended solid is it basically includes all the type of solids which are present in the water sample and if we are talking about uh, the discharge of the waste material then in the natural level which is available in the water it should not increase by 30% so that the accumulation or the uh, suspended solid should not increase in much quantity that is very very important next parameter is the dissolved oxygen it should not be less than 2 mg per liter for 90% of the sample means if we are checking 100 samples in the different locations of the different heights of the different places then not more than uh, 90% of the samples should be having the value uh, less than 2 mg per liter it should be minimum available next is the dissolved oxygen at the average depth if we are talking about the average depth of the water body then uh, this value should not be less than 4 mg per liter for 90% of the samples which are available or which we are collecting simultaneously the aesthetic appearance means the look of the water body which is available with us should not be uh, objectionable means if we are looking uh, to the water body and finding that the color of that water body has been changed it has been decolored then the floating wood or the floating plastic material the waste materials are clearly seen over the surface then that type of water should not be utilized and uh, we need to take care that any sort of waste which is creating the changes in the uh, color content of the water body is objectionable we should try to avoid that particular uh, material from the water body right so if we talk about the construction activities related to these parameters then the basic thing which we need to take care is we should not do the concreting on uh, the site we should try to avoid the concreting work on the site because uh, with the rain water with the water which is going to flush away from that site the concrete material the content of the concrete will move away with the water and simultaneously reach the nearby water bodies and thus it will try to pollute the environment 
it will try to pollute our water of that particular water body. So the washing of the concrete trucks are not uh, allowed everywhere, but they should be done on the particular uh, on a particular location where the water bodies are not available, where that water won't reach to the water bodies. Simultaneously, the wastewater which will be generated by the workers on the particular site where they are residing. So the chemical toilets are required for them so that the waste water uh, should not reach the water bodies of the nearby locations. If I tell about the general precautions which we should take care, then we should not discharge the silt water from the water courses, which carries away the silt particles. The maintenance of the vehicles and equipment is very, very important because if our uh, electrical equipments, our mechanical equipments are uh, creating leakages, they are producing some or the other way, they are leaking, then that uh, chemical, that oil, the waste water will reach to the water body and will degrade the quality of the water samples. Another point which we should take care is that any type of soil which is contaminated with the chemical should be removed from the site. And thus we should try to take care that these kind of voids are actually created and they should be filled with the suitable materials. So any type of soil which is contaminated with any type of chemical shall be removed from the site because that will be mixing up with the water in the near future and thus uh, a case of disturbance for us. And last is suitable condition shall be used to hold this chemical waste. Means nowadays uh, the municipal corporation is also taking care that these type of dangerous chemical waste are collected separately so that they can be discharged to some particular locations where they won't impact the atmosphere. They won't create impacts on the uh, water pa quality parameters. So in this way, we can uh, try to reduce the impact of the water pollution uh, due to the construction activities. I hope all of you might have got this topic. This is very, very important. And as a civil engineer, we all shall try to work on it and shall try to reduce this particular case. Thank you, everyone.